yes all right thank you very very much for staying with us once again uh, joining us on this channel sport 7 gh it's always a pleasure to have you join us thank you very very much so the black stars of ghana um we all know that coach chris Hutton is struggling with the black stars of ghana currently as i speak to you um the type of performance he's giving the black stars of ghana is one that a lot of Ghanaians are not happy with at all. A lot of Ghanaians are very, very, very angry with the Black Stars coach and with Coach Chris Hutton. Now, um, there are several reports surrounding the fact that Coach Chris Hutton will leave his post after the African Cup of Nations 2024. You know that actually his contract will end after the African Cup of Nations in January. Um, so after the African Cup of Nations, so the, it will end in February 2024. That is when it his contract will end and the news is that if his contract ends the black the ghana football association and the sports ministry will not extend his contract because they are not impressed with the type of performance and game he plays of course he has the opportunity of the african cup of nations to rewrite a different story and to convince Ghanaians that look um if you give me more time with the blasters i'm going to do well with the senior national team the ghana blasters but as it stands now he will leave his post as the black stars coach after the african cup of nations in 2024 now two coaches are leading to replace him when you talk about the next black stars coach one is former black stars player michael asian and then two is um current um french national team french women's national team coach have renard two coaches are leading to replace the black stars coach chris Hutin if he leaves the coaching job and journalist ghanaian journalist sadik adams the sports obama has um, brought a lot of details about this particular story and we are also going to give you the very much details of the story with a lot of emphasis on um or with a lot of credit to S sadik adams the sports obama as well as um, the stories and reports we have gathered from the media space from the ghana football association and the sports ministry so this video is to delve straight into who becomes the next blasters coach is it going to be michael essien or is it going to be hev renard and which of them will be a better option for the senior national team the ghana black stars going forward and we are going to bring you all of those issues the analysis and everything in this video and also we will talk about black stars players hearing a lot of good news and um, that is also a very good one for ghana as a country and for the black stars as a team we are going to talk about that also in this video so do want to subscribe to the channel like this video hit the notification bell and select all leave your thoughts and comments below in the comment section of this video if you have any let me know your thoughts comments views opinions about who you think should replace black stars coach chris Hutton if he should leave his coaching job or do you think that the black stars coach chris Hutton should continue even after the african cup of nations um or what do you think at all let me know all of that in the comment section of this video like this video hit the notification bell and select or leave your thoughts and comments below in the comment section thank you very much for staying with us now the black stars of ghana um, and in fact ghana as a country we are hearing a lot of good news concerning our injured players who are coming back and will be playing for their various clubs in fact when we were playing the world cup qualifiers we missed a lot of key key players Mohamed Salisu is one of them. Tarek Lamte is also one of them. And Alexander Jiku is also one of them. Three very key players in key positions were missing from the Black Stars team. And as I'm speaking to you, Mohamed Salisu has fully recovered from his injury and is actually part of the AS Monaco team that will be facing Paris Saint-Germain this evening. Yes, this particular evening, AS Monaco will be taking on Paris Saint-Germain in the French League. Ah! and the black stars defender muhammad salisu is fit and is part and will be part of that particular team and that is a very very good news at least if he starts playing now by january he will be very very fit and ready to play for the black stars in the african cup of nations and that is a very very good news muhammad salisu has been out of football for a very long time since signing for as monaco in the summer 2023 he hasn't played even a single game for them. This will be his first game for AS Monaco if he's able to play some parts in the game. 
and this will be a very very important one for him going into this season so uh mohammed salisu fit and ready to play for as monaco and that is a very good news also Tarek lamte is training with the brighton and hove albion team after recovering from his injury he wasn't able to join the black stars team during the november fifa world cup qualifiers but then um, he's currently fit and training with the brighton and hove albion team maybe he will be available for selection for their weekend game they will be playing and that is also a very very good news Tariq lamte i don't know any time the blast has is playing he's having injury i don't know when i say my real thoughts about him it will not be good so i'll not say it but i just hope that they are very genuine injuries and everything will be fine with him Alexander Jiku is also training with his squad and um, he is also getting back to full fitness after an injury. So all these three Black Stars players who were out of the November FIFA World Cup qualifiers because of injuries are all back and training with their team and hoping to be part of their squad for the weekend games as well as the subsequent games that will be coming on so we hope and wish them all the best we hope that they will be very fine and um, join the black stars for the african cup of nations in january 2024 now let's talk about our main story black stars coach chris Hutton is very much likely to be relieved of his job or of his position after the african cup of nations because he hasn't impressed anybody in fact the government themselves are not impressed with him the ghana football association there right after the usa and mexico friendlies they wanted the coach to be sacked and me too kids <laughs> sports having gh I also wanted a coach to be sacked right after the friendlies. But then when he came to play, in fact, they allowed him to play the FIFA World Cup qualifiers. And after the FIFA World Cup qualifiers, a lot of Ghanaians are like, no, 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 no. We cannot continue to have the black um, Chris Hutton as our Black Stars coach. And so we should sack him. Otherwise, we are not going to qualify for the FIFA World Cup qualifiers and in fact for the fifa world cup 2026 so the point is that the ghana football association and the sports ministry has decided that look this coach his contract will end after the african cup of nations so there will be no need to sack him right now if you sack him right now you pay him compensation but you just have to allow him to go to the african cup of nations and then after the african cup of nations his contract will run out and they will, we will not renew the contract and everything will go on you get it and then we'll find a new coach finding a new coach is why uh, michael is uh, Isian, former black stars player is current his name is currently um, in full force that he can replace black stars coach chris Hutton. now michael Isian is currently an assistant coach with nodgeland fc in denmark um he's actually a project of the right to dream academy that they are going to help him to become a better coach just like he was when he was a player now masu didi dramani is also the technical director of nodgeland and he's our assistant manager do you get a point good so um michael Lezen hasn't gotten any any impressive coaching job that we will say that oh his first so so his first professional job will be the black stars coach if you are going to give him the, co the, the the job as a as the next black stars coach do you get a point yes but then he has a uefa um pro lines lines a he has all the qual um qualifications that will make him the black stars coach yes he has he has all the qualifications so being qualified is not a problem but my problem is the experience of of michael is here. he's here to take a full ma managerial job so why would we even think about bringing him but of course he has the experience with the black stars as a player he's worked with a lot of coaches in fact in world football he's worked with jose Mourinho um and a lot of coaches ancelotti and the rest during his days with ac milan um, um, um chelsea football club real madrid and the rest so in time in terms of um managerial career you don't have to or only be a, a, a main coach before you have experiences when you've worked with certain coaches and a, and a better example is jabi alonso what he's doing with Bayer Leverkusen currently because of the number of coaches and the type of coaches he worked with he's doing very well in his first professional managerial job so actually michael Essien can do very well with the blasters because of his playing experience and even um so far what he's been doing with his coaching and then we also have heavy renard 
who is currently the women's team of france okay he's the coach of the women's team of france he sent um, he actually qualified saudi arabia to the world cup used saudi arabia to beat argentina in their first world cup um, game he also won the african cup of nations with ivory coast and zambia so he has the track work record when it comes to um getting the coach for the black stars so for me he will be the best one to coach the black stars but he being the best one can we also pay him what well, that's the first question can we meet his demands that he will bring on board okay maybe he would like to bring assistant his own assistant coaches he would like to bring his own video analyst and the rest and we have to pay all those people and we have to pay them well do you get a point good but if you are bringing acn for acn he understands our financial situation he understands how how everything works with us and so he will compromise on certain issues and you the amount of money we will pay have renard with it's not the same amount of money acn will be getting do you get a point so that is the thing have Renard will be the better option for us because he's done it before on the african continent and he's done it on the world stage with saudi arabia in the world cup with the french um, french um, women's team and all of that he's doing very well in the world stage and has done it on the african continent before and uh, he has been with the black stars before and all of that as a technical um coach and all of that so we, we he has the track records to to fill the position but can we pay him can we pay the people he will come with and all of those issues, all of those issues that is the problem with have renan but if you ask me we should go all out for him and i am very sure that he's going to transform our team he's going to install discipline and everything he's very good tactically he's able to beat a, a, an argentine team with just saudi arabia imagine he gets the quality um of the black star players he's going to do very very well so that is the news um sarah i'm going on right now and i uh, reports going on in terms of the next blasters coach after chris Hutin, who it is going to be let me know your thoughts comment views opinions in the comment section of this video like this video hit the notification bell and select or leave your thoughts and comments below definitely i'll see you in the next update bye bye